สวัสดีครับ I'm JP m i s t a n t a It's Monday, April 1st. You're watching Phuket Extra, brought to you by PVCPhuket.com. One person is now in custody at Phuket City Police Station on human trafficking charges and more, as authorities say she was offering girls as young as 13 to customers of a karaoke venue for sex services. The Central Investigation Bureau released the news shortly before noon on Saturday, following the raid earlier in the day at a karaoke venue in Rasada in Phuket Town. Photos from the raid released by the CIB show only officers from the CIB and the Anti-Trafficking and Persons Divisions of the Bureau, not Phuket City Police or Phuket Provincial Police. One person was arrested, a 39-year-old Thai female identified only as Miss Sapawan, who was named as the operator of an illegal brothel. According to a report by Khao Sot, authorities found two underage employees on the premises, a 13-year-old and a 14-year-old, with reports explaining that Work duties included serving customers, accompanying them at the tables, including alcohol consumption, and providing sexual services. The venue in question was not named in reports. Customers were charged 3,400 baht for sexual services, with 400 baht going directly to Ms. Sapawan, according to the CIB. She now faces six charges related to human trafficking and procuring minors for sexual services. No comments have been made regarding an investigation of the patrons of the unnamed karaoke venue operated by Ms. Sapawan or local officials who failed to notice the illegal brothel in their own district in Rasada. Phuket Provincial Police have yet to publicly acknowledge the raid. The news comes almost exactly one year after raids at the Velvet Bar on Patong Soy Sea Dragon just off Bangla Road, where two women were arrested for sexually exploiting children as six underage girls, the youngest being 15, were being sold to customers for sex. That raid also didn't include any local police, but rather was conducted by the Department of Provincial Administration, DOPA, which falls under the Ministry of the Interior. In the aftermath, five senior police officers from Patong Police Station were removed for their recklessness after allowing the bar in Patong to provide underage girls as prostitutes to foreign customers. For more, visit the PhuketNews.com. A 34-year-old man is now recovering at a local hospital after an early morning crash today near the Heroines Monument that saw his vehicle slam into the Central Reservation palm tree and flip over. The crash took place shortly before 2 a.m. this morning, some 200 meters from the Heroines Monument on Tepkasati Road. Police arrived with rescue workers from the Kusodam Foundation and from Sirisutor Municipality to find the pickup and a Suzu D-Max registered in Saraburi Province in the middle of the southbound lanes with heavy damage. The pickup had flipped, but was already righted by local residents who had rushed to help just prior to police arriving at the scene. The driver, a 34-year-old Thai national, was rushed to Talang Hospital with serious injuries. Police say that from their preliminary investigation, the pickup was traveling at high speed when the driver lost control. The pickup mounted the central reservation and hit a palm tree and wiped out a kilometer marker before flipping over and coming to rest. The truck has been recovered, and while an investigation is underway, police say they intend to press charges against the driver for causing damage to government property. For more, visit the PhuketNews.com. I was sure that it would be easier to clear you from my mind. Locals are expressing their concern that their millions of krill washed ashore at Maikau Beach over the weekend. The beach was inspected by the village headman, or Kamnan, of Mu 4 of Maikau, who stated that the krill had been found washed ashore along 4 to 5 kilometers of the beach in Phuket's north. Some people were found collecting krill and washing them with seawater. Others were more concerned whether the phenomenon indicated an impending natural disaster. The Kamnan also stated that the color of the krill that washed ashore was cause for concern, noting that krill shrimp usually looks pinkish red, but the millions that washed up on Maikau Beach were purple. Marine officials and national park officers have been alerted to the incident, with locals saying they want an investigation into what caused the phenomenon. For more, visit the PhuketNews.com. The Ministry of Natural Resources and Environment is seeking the private sector's cooperation to financially support the ministry's forest fire operation by offering a lucrative package of reduced taxes in exchange for their assistance. On Friday, private companies were invited to the ministry and the Board of Investment of Thailand in Bangkok 
to learn about the project to combat forest fires in the country, which officials say is the major source of haze pollution. The project will allow firms to help mitigate the air pollution caused by PM2.5 fine dust by offering financial support to the Department of Forest and the Department of National Parks, Wildlife and Plant Conservation in their efforts to stop forest wildfires. Jatupom Buruspat, the ministry's permanent secretary, said the government is serious about this issue, but due to a very limited budget, it needs support from the private sector. The ministry and the Board of Investment will offer tax initiatives to any company that donates money to the Stop Wildfires project. Firms can donate anywhere between 500,000 and 5 million baht from January 1st to April 30th each year to help clean the air. They will receive tax reductions of up to 200% from the amount of money they donate to the project. Officials say that money will be spent on purchasing firefighting tools, training courses for firefighters, and setting up forest fire monitoring points. Regarding the haze pollution, the spokesman said that hotspots are still widely found in Mai Hong Son and Chiang Mai provinces. For more, visit thepuketnews.com. We really appreciate you joining us and kicking off your week with us here on Phuket Extra, brought to you by pvcphuket.com. I do have to announce that today will be my last day, only for the next couple of weeks. I'm actually going to go off and get married, so I can't wait to see you guys when I come back, and we will leave you in the very capable hands of Chris Hausen. Until then, anyway, until the end of the month, thank you so much for joining us. Stay classy, Phuket. Phuket's rapid modernization has made it one of the world's premier holiday destinations. Investors can still buy quality condominiums for as low as 75,000 US dollars and luxury properties can go all the way up to 20 million. Condominiums in Phuket are a safe, secure bricks and mortar investment offering foreigners freehold ownership. Call or email Thai Residential. Phuket's number one trusted real estate advisor to find your perfect Phuket property.